What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is French versus American homes, eight differences. Let's go. Obviously we're, go we're going the UK side, so we're gonna have UK, we're gonna have French, and we're gonna have American homes. So we may learn something new about French, mm -hmm. may some learn something new about America, and you guys may learn something new about the UK. Are you ready? Yes, what he said. Links in the description to their channel, but what should we do? Wait till after this video. We'd really appreciate it. Let's go. What we got? Salut tout le monde. Welcome back to Unintentionally Frenchified. I'm officially on August vacation in the US, and I thought it was the perfect time while I was getting to shop at Target, go to the grocery store in the snack aisle, getting to wear my workout clothes everywhere, that I also do a video about American homes in the US. I always notice when I come back certain things or accessories or functionalities of American homes that we never see in France. Before I start the tour, I want to just take two minutes to talk to you about the amazing sponsor of this video. So I wanted to start outside because it is very convenient things about American homes that I don't see in France. It has to do with the post office, which is not my favorite part of France. The post office has made me cry numerous times. Wait, what? But what's so great in the US <laughs> is that with your mailbox, you of course, the mailman drops off letters. But if you want to send letters, all you have to do is open the mailbox, put in your letters, oh. And then you just raise the little oh. red flag and it tells the postman that you want him to pick up the letters that are inside. It's very convenient. And Whoa. I no never knew that. that. No one's ever, ever mentioned that. I feel like I've seen that on movies as well, but I've never clicked. That is... Wow. That's life changing. That is actually life changing. You don't have to go to the post box to post a letter. How many times do we like take forever to post a letter because it's like... Oh, I'm not passing I've post I've got one last time in my car, but I haven't posted for weeks. Just think, anytime you walk out of a house, you can just post a letter. Oh, that's genius. That's actually quite genius. If you're putting stuff in anyway, why not take stuff out? It is I genius. I guess the only downside is, and I'm going to go negative. Someone could steal your mail. If you've got your flag up, people know there's mail to go out there. Someone could just steal that. But I guess someone could just steal your letters anyway. Yeah. But isn't it a federal no. crime to steal letters? Well, I think it might be. It is, but it's a federal crime to kill people. But people still do it. Oh, no, I get that. Um, but, but what I mean is, in the UK, you it's a federal crime to stop, <laughs> stop, to what it is. escape past that. What it is. But, like, obviously in the UK, the letters tend to go through your door. So they can't steal. No one can steal your letters. Yeah. Whereas you can just go to someone's letterbox and take a letter out. So I think it has to be yeah. part. I mean, obviously it depends on what they've But they could steal letters being given to you as well. I know. So that, that's not just... I'm not subject out. to just being sent Yeah. Out. You know what? I like it. I mean, I like it, yeah. But I think because it's a federal crime, I mean, it's that big of a thing. If you get caught, you, you, that's so people won't do it. And also, how, 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 speed, how big is speed. a speed? Are you really risking getting a federal crime for that? It might not even be a federal crime. I might have made that up. But I think I've I heard think that. A, no, it's a lot to open up people's mail, I think. In Jersey, anyway. I people. think so. Let us know in the comments. Anyway, right, it's a great idea. I, I just, love it. I just would like to know what, how, what the statistics are. Is that maybe. common? Yeah, is, is it, it common? common? Yeah, but that is, I love it. It's efficient. And I know in France, they're starting now where you can choose a time, tell the post office, leave something inside, etc., and plan like a whole appointment to get your mail picked up. But I think it's kind of nice that you just have this nifty arrow. Behind me, you can see some of the neighbors' houses next to my mom's house. I always feel like I've made it home to the Midwest when I drive up and there are no fences or walls or things blocking the front yard. In the US where I'm from, you can't really see inside people's backyards, but the front yards tend to be really open. That's not to say that sometimes you won't see fences, but usually you can see what's going on in people's front yards. As you can see the three neighbors behind me, there are no fences yeah. in their front yard. One of the things not that I feel like is UK. typically American as well when I drive up or I come to homes in the US is that there tends to be a lot more cars mm -hmm. versus the number of people who live in the house. So you can see okay. here that there are two people that live at my mom's, but they have one, two, three, four cars oh, wow. in the driveway. And all four of those cars are their own cars. And in France, I tend to find that a lot of times there's one car for two people, or maybe oh, we've got one. It's to do with space. You look at the size of a Yeah, we've driveway. got a lot more space. I suppose in cost as well, but um, like, yeah. I dr uh, I'll drive, like if the dad's driveway fits two cars. So we have got two cars, yeah, we can only fit one car, can't we? So we've yeah. got one. And we but, like, can only afford one car. Funny if, but, yeah, one, it comes down to money if you can afford three cars. But, but it's, it's space. space. But that's an American thing, isn't it? They, they, have, also more, garage, they, have, they have more room, so it's an American thing. One car for one person and, and, you know, one car for the other, but there's not two cars for each person. 
tends to be very American. So as I walk into the house, you can't feel it the same way that I can, but there is, first of all, a golden retriever. Hey, see. Pretty, pretty mm -hmm. American. Say hi, Piper. Hello. Say hello, everyone. It's also the blast eve. Yeah, very common I see the air that I'm feeling right now as the air conditioning takes over. Horses there is so... We're gonna appreciate that view. Is that right, beautiful, isn't it? That is beautiful. Wow. So much air conditioning in the US. I have personally maybe been in one home in France that actually has air conditioning. Yes, we, there's air conditioning in offices, there's air conditioning in restaurants, in grocery stores, but when it comes to people's actual homes, they tend to live without air conditioning. And in the Same US, in UK. air conditioning is in almost every home that I've ever been in, and it is blasting. So in terms of the difference of temperature outside and inside, it's huge. The next thing I'm gonna show you is maybe the most, my most favorite thing about American homes that I wish we had in France. And it's actually part of the windows, which sounds kind of weird. But if I open up this window, you guys will see that there is a screen dun, da, 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 on the window. So a screen pretty much lets us open up the window, get some fresh air in here when the air conditioning's not on, and it keeps out the mosquitoes, the bugs, the flies, etc. In France, I have never seen a screen on a window, guys. I've never we seen have one. flies no. that come into our apartment in Paris. We have mosquitoes during the summer. And I think it's so convenient and so nice. And I just don't, I have never, ever seen one in a French home. So you'll let me know in the comments below if you have. But these are not very common. And when I see them, I'm like, <gasps> we are in the US. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is in the kitchen. And this is another one that I think is very convenient and that we don't, I've never seen Probably in France special. before. So here we are at the sink and not only is the sink really massive and it's I don't big. see that as often in France, like these really big sinks. And also the sink, when you like turn it on, you've got this contraption here. Tell you what, able that's to... becoming more common in the UK. That is becoming yeah, very, that, that's a new modern upgrade. That is a new modern upgrade, yeah. I'd say about five, six years ago, never seen it before. It's definitely coming in now, isn't it? To move it, and then you're also able to change the type of water. That's this is cool. not something I see as, you know, as common in France, but that's not really the big thing about the sink. The big thing is the garbage disposal. Yeah, never seen Almost one. every home has a garbage disposal. So pretty much you're able to put food down the sink, and then you turn it on, and it just blows all the food to smithereens. Up. And you don't have to put all of the food in the garbage. And I find that really convenient when you're cleaning and stuff. And I've never seen that in France before. Another difference is the amount of ice that Americans consume. And when I'm in France, of course, people in their homes do tend to have ice if you ask, but they don't tend to really have like massive ice makers. And when you go to a restaurant, for example, in France, and you ask for ice, you get like two or three cubes. And Probably when you go to the can. US, you have like an entire glass full of ice. Sometimes it's too much ice if that could even be possible. And if you look at my mom's refrigerator, for example, you are- A classic American fridge. Yeah. But that, I think that is the thing is a lot of them have ice makers. Ice makers, yeah, that is, a that is what we call an American fridge. Yeah. If we go to someone's house and they have that, they're common in the UK now. They are, but they are listed as American fridge but, freezers. Yeah, but oh, you got an American fridge. I yeah. <laughs> already have right here, you know, ice that you can get at the front of the refrigerator, which I see less in France, but you can find, of course. But also just I love the, the amount of ice. So if you look into my mom's freezer, not only oh, wow. do you have like a massive massive like bowl of ice here for the ice maker but not only do you have one there but you also have a second one so up here there's also the ice so a lot she's of got ice. two different ice makers so that she never runs out of ice i feel like that is something that you don't really see as often in france but that doesn't really shock me too much so one of the final things that is very typically american in homes is We've got the good old couch over here and imagine that I'm having a very tired day and I want to relax at night and I want my feet up. Instead of putting my feet over here on this perfect ottoman, I'm, all that I'm just going to lean this. over and I'm just going to recline. Nope. They're not having this to themselves. This is we very equally common now. have that in the UK. Yeah. It's not, it's not very common now because I grew up my sofa had it my auntie's sofa had it oh really yeah i'm not claiming that uh, yeah i think i feel like i, I don't know where it started maybe it not is france. very I don't definite think, i don't know can't comment on france yeah maybe not france but in the, UK, in the uk it definitely is very common um not always automatic you sometimes have a button and I it like pulls you go, <laughs> I like <laughs> just go well. uh, reminds me of friends 
Mm. So you only whip it and it goes. Yeah, out, you don't but, have um, it takes a bit of time, doesn't it? Of the automatic one, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we definitely have these. Keep slowly. Yes, paper. Just we just we, we don't oh, have these. Back a little but you can definitely have these. My sister has one. Watch my TV. Again, you guys are going to let me know in the comments below if you know why, but I feel like that is very typically American to be able to just recline my feet. And when I was growing up, they weren't electric like they are now. It was like a big old handle yeah. that you would pull back like this and then your feet would go flying up. But super comfortable and practical, but not something I see very often in France. Can you guess how many televisions we have in a home here for two people? I'm going to show you. Television number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five. And just in case one TV with the workout machines is not enough, we've also just got you. TV number six. I feel and like finally, TV number no, I'm kidding. I was going to say, I was going to say, imagine. That's just all of the... Again, let us know, how common is it to have so many TVs? Yeah, I feel like that is a rich person's... Yeah, it could be like... Just... I mean, her her mom's house is beautiful. It's beautiful, definitely. But there's definitely a little bit of money behind that. Because oh, 100, not... oh, 100%. Because, like, the whole driver thing with the cars, not everybody lives like that, I don't think. With... Oh, well, yeah, well, 100%. Um, um, so, yeah, I feel yeah, like... Yeah, that is in the country, your experience. Seven amazing. TVs in the house. Oh, 100, I we've completely agree. We've got two, and, we've got um, one. Yeah, one in the lounge, one in the bedroom. But let us know in the comments how many do you have. Do you normally try and get as many as possible? Do you not? Again, let us know in the comments, because I, I completely agree. <laughs> the insulated cups that. that we have yeah, in the US. Yeah, you do. No, but seriously, when it comes to TVs, there are a lot of TVs in lots of different rooms. And most of the time in the US, people have televisions inside of their bedroom, as well as in the dining room, as well as in the den, as well as sometimes in the kitchen. And in France, I would do normally see that one. one TV in the entire house. So it's just, as soon as I see lots of TVs in homes, I just think, yep, this is the US. All right, guys, that is a wrap on good. all some, of the some different ones in there. Some yeah. which I don't think is very, very common in the US, but maybe you guys corrected in the comments below. Um, and some would disagree on. Well, good, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the disagree ones is in, I don't think it's all American. I'm not disagreeing that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. I'm saying I think the U. But then I guess it isn't about the UK, is it? It's about yeah, exactly, exactly. But, um, <laughs> but the U. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was completely American. Yeah, 100%. Like other countries, but... Smash that like button, smash subscribe button, what should we do? Have a fantastic And we'll see you later into the next one. Peace.